Hello, welcome everyone. You both look beautiful. I know that we all are so, so thankful to be able to be here with you two today. And I know that Randy and Vanessa are just overwhelmed with the presence of so many of their friends and loved ones from so many parts of the world. Before I get to the meat and potatoes of the wedding ceremony, or perhaps I should say the kosher meat and potatoes of this wedding ceremony, I want to take a few moments to tell you about the partnership between Vanessa and Randy, how it began, how it grew, and why these two make such a beautiful pair. Randy and Vanessa met in the standard storybook fashion. One fateful day, Vanessa stumbled upon Randy's profile in the magical <laughs> land of OK Cupid. <laughs> Vanessa remembers seeing Randy's profile and being intrigued by how little Randy had shared about herself. <laughs> and always someone who loves a challenge, Vanessa became immediately interested in meeting this mysterious girl. Shortly thereafter, the two connected and made plans for their very first date. They both remember the first moment that they saw each other. Randy described seeing Vanessa and thinking immediately of a sunset. Vanessa described seeing Randy and being at an immediate loss for words. For any of you out there that have gone on dates, you know that those kind of first impressions are few and far between. <laughs> but while that first date went well and those initial impressions were strong, Randy, in the classic cat and mouse dynamic that happens in both romantic comedies and in real life, played her cards fairly close to her chest in those beginning days. Let me pause here to tell you that I've known Randy for almost 20 years. And in those near 20 years of friendship, she has always been three things. She has always been fiercely loyal. She has always been endlessly compassionate. And she has always been as stubborn as a beautiful mule. <laughs> These aspects of Randy's personality are powerful and important, and they make her the radiant woman that we know and love. They can also make a game of cat and mouse very interesting. For those of you who don't know Vanessa that well, you should know that she shares those same fiercely loyal, endlessly compassionate, and strong-willed personality markers with Randy. She also happens to work on a day-to-day -day basis as a professional strategist. You see, in those early days, Vanessa was paying close attention to our stubborn Randy, and true to her strategist nature, was noting the things that worked in getting Randy to let down her guard. In fact, she was keeping those notes in an organized spreadsheet. <laughs> Not only... <laughs> I've blown your cover, huh? Yeah, yeah, I saw that that in the way. <laughs> Not only is Vanessa a brilliant strategist, but also, like Randy, knows what she wants. Before meeting Randy, Vanessa had crafted a list of attributes that she wanted her partner to embody. She wanted her to be interested in politics. She wanted her to be adventurous. She wanted her to love the outdoors. Randy matched nearly every attribute on that list. And thanks to Vanessa's ability to clear those initial cat and mouse hurdles, Randy suddenly found herself seeing Vanessa. Seeing a woman she loved and falling for her, head over heels. Or if we're sticking with the cat and mouse metaphor, tail over whiskers. From the very start, Randy and Vanessa challenged each other in the most important ways. Randy's patience inspired Vanessa. Vanessa's ability to live in the present inspired Randy. They were both strong enough to see through the other's defenses, quirks, and hesitations. They were both stubborn enough to persist. In many senses of the phrase, Randy and Vanessa have quite literally met their match. These two are coming together at an incredible moment in both of their lives. They were both raised by honest, resilient, and loving families. Families whose anchors include incredibly strong and independent women. The Evans and Toll families taught Vanessa and Randy respectively how to explore, how to stand tall, and how to forge their own paths in this world. Before they met each other, they had both been hard at work growing into the powerful and awesome women they are today. Before they met, Randy and Vanessa had individually traveled to a total of 48 countries. In the next two months, they will visit four countries together for the first time as a married couple. 
Before they met, they lived very full lives, lives that taught each of them the exact things they needed to know to love, treasure, and appreciate one another. Randy and Vanessa, these paths that you forged, they've led you here today. I want to ask you both to take a moment to think about all you've done, to think about all you've seen and experienced before standing here in this moment with so many of your loved ones. Think of what you've accomplished. Think of what you've learned. Look at each other and know that now you get to take all of those powerful, beautiful moments, those things that have made you who you are as individuals and bring them together to start a brand new adventure. As you begin this new adventure, I would like for you both to keep these seven marriage promises close to your hearts. May you work together to build a marriage of substance and quality. May your marriage enrich your lives. May you understand that neither of you is perfect. You are both subject to human frailties and may your love strengthen when you fall short of each other's expectations. May the honesty of your communication build a foundation of understanding, connection, and trust. May you respect each other's individual personality and philosophy, give each other room to grow, and fulfill each other's dreams. May your sense of humor and playful spirit continue to enliven the relationship. May you grow more in love every day. And finally, may you be best friends, better together than you are apart. Randy and Vanessa would now like to exchange the vows that they have written for one another. Or at least they kind of want to do that and mostly are terrified, I'm sure. <laughs> you want to take it off? <clears throat> there are many decisions that I've made in my life that I've labored over and doubted, trying to project myself into the future so that I might see the outcome of the decision before I made it. But making the decision to spend my life with you <laughs> and build a life and a home together possibly the biggest decision I have ever made and will make. I feel nothing but certainty and optimism. I feel possibility and hope. You've opened my eyes to having experiences and existing in, a world, in the world in a way that is light and appreciative of the moment we are in right now. I wasn't quite sure that I would find my person and have a love in my life that quite literally takes my breath away. But that is what you've done. You take my breath away. We waited a long time to find each other. We've talked about, about what it would have been like to have met each other when we were younger. But the person I've become and the person that you've become has been shaped by all the experiences we've had as individuals. And this is part of what makes us so strong together. I have grown and reflected on myself for a long time, and so have you. We are so perfectly aligned in the things that we want and our, dream, and our dreams and desires. I still can't believe that this is real and that you are real. I feel like I've waited my whole life to find you and who you are. You are my love of loves. And I want to under the watchful gaze of all of the important people in our world, make promises to you as your wife. I promise to take care of you always. I will pick you up when you are down. Be strong when you can't. I'll celebrate your triumphs with you and share your sadness with you. I will fill your belly. <laughs> and feed your soul, I will be a rock. I promise commitment to and patience for the process of our personal and collective evolution and growth. This includes patience for you as you learn to break down the Amazon boxes left for a week after their arrival. <laughs> Cleaning up the trail of rice cake crumbs left in your way. <laughs> 
putting a new toilet paper roll in the bathroom when it runs out. <laughs> <laughs> but it also includes supporting your goals, working toward mine, and being committed to our goals as a couple. I promise to listen. We process things in unique ways and emote in different ways. But the way to find our middle ground is to listen without just thinking of what I want to say next. I promise to love waffles. <laughs> For he is your firstborn dog child. <laughs> and now he is ours. <laughs> and finally, I promise to love you. I love you and will love you fiercely and completely and without bounds. I know that there will be ups and downs, but my commitment to you and to us and to the life that we will build together is and will forever be unwavering. Now that I've experienced how much better life is with you, I'm never letting you go. You make me want to be the best version of myself for you and for us. And you see me with the layers peeled back and you love me because of them and because of the core that's inside. I see every magnificent part of what makes you the person that you are, and I love you because of each other's parts. I've never felt so full of joy and love and passion and excitement at the life we have ahead of us. You make me feel alive. With you, everything is better. I know why you wanted to go first. <laughs> I was like, sure. Um, so I distinctly remember the moment that I saw you for the first time in that Williamsburg bar. You were all curly hair and blue eyes, and you turned around, and I was instantly lost for words, which, as you know, doesn't happen that often. But then I found those words and rambled on at you for about two hours with some drinks while you nursed one beer. And, uh, I thought things were going well when you said, let's get dinner. <laughs> and then I found out you were just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, getting married. Uh, and with a 96% match, it was practically preordained by the internet dating guys. <laughs> but in life as in love, timing is everything. And I really believe that we met at the perfect time when the real you was ready to meet the real me. Um, and I knew early on in this relationship that this would be special because being with you felt like somehow coming home, like it was so effortless and familiar, like we'd already done this before. And there is something about you that brings out the best in me, a more balanced and calm side has emerged. I've never felt more myself or happier in my skin, confident in the knowledge that you really love me for me and all of my rather perfect imperfections. <laughs> You've become my teacher, my cheerleader, and for those who know me importantly, my bullshit meter. <laughs> the person I can confess anything to, the, make, the person who makes me feel supported in every part of my life, and who I, who I so thoroughly respect and admire. And simply put, you are my love of loves. So today, and in marriage, I promise to love the woman you are today and the woman you will become. I promise to listen until you feel heard. I promise to build a home that is filled with laughter, love, and compassion. I promise to not let us go to bed angry. I promise to try to be more patient, even though Project Patience 1.0 and 2.0 were complete failures. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to tolerate your obsession which with um, what can only be described as, sorry, oh, let me say again. I promise to tolerate your obsession with perfecting what can only be described as the worst Australian accent ever. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I promise to always find joy with you in the little mundane things of life because as far as I can tell, marriage isn't about the wedding or the honeymoon, but rather finding happiness together on a forgettable Wednesday. And with these words, and with heart shining out of my eyes, I promise to love you now and always. 
Mm. I'm just going to go off script for one moment here to tell you that Randy and Vanessa both um, sent their vows to me and, and sort of said, like, are they, do you think they're about the right length? Do you think, you know, do they work together? And I was like, you didn't write these together? Like, they, they both had, like, such a similar structure. They, they just, you were together even in your vows. <laughs> now I'm going to go back on script. <laughs> Randy and Vanessa, as your lives move forward today and become, a today becomes a beautiful memory. Remember these words and intentions. Remember the look you see in each other's eyes right this minute. Even when things get busy or stressful, it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day, -day. we all do it. But the love you see in each other's eyes right now is the love that will continue to strengthen you both, continue to unite you, and continue to ground you in the thing that matters most, your ongoing, ever-growing appreciation for one another. At this time, I would like to present the rings to Randy and Vanessa. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Randy, you can go first. Randy, as you place this ring on Vanessa's finger, please repeat after me. Oh, I should take this off. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And promise to fulfill my vows. And promise to fulfill my vows. I promise you my love and respect. I promise you my love and respect. To be true to you. To be true to you and to be your companion for the rest of my life. And to be your companion for the rest of my life. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. For there is no greater gift that I could give. For there is no greater gift that I could give. Vanessa, as you place this ring on Randy's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And promise to fulfill my vows. And promise to fulfill my vows. I promise you my love and respect. I promise you my love and respect. To be true to you. To be true to you. And to be your companion for the rest of my life. And to be your companion for the rest of my life. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. For there is no greater gift that I could give. For there is no greater gift I could give. I would now like to have you both participate in the breaking of the glass. <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear Randy mutter under her breath, she said, well, let's hope it works. <laughs> this is an act of happiness and love and also symbolizes that love must be cared for and not broken. When Randy and Vanessa break their glasses, please all join me in saying mazel tov, wishing them good luck in the years to come. I pronounce you wife and wife. You may now be.
if you are the immediate family members of one of the brides, or if you are in the bridal party, then you can stay back for some pictures, and otherwise, please go get your party on. Jennifer, <laughs> please go get your party on. Uh, just up there, there's a few golf carts, so the first people over there get a ride up. Run! <laughs>